Hi, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Friends, with the help of this beautiful simulation, I will explain you the concept of pressure in case of gases. You will also learn here how you can change the pressure by varying number of molecules, by changing temperature and also by changing the volume of the container. In the next video, I will discuss various laws of gases like Boyle's law, Charles law and Avogadro's law. I will also discuss how we can derive ideal gas equation from these three laws. Friends, now I will start this lecture with what we mean by pressure. Actually, what is pressure? Pressure, uh, you know by formula, pressure is F by A, force per unit area. If molecules are applying more force per unit area on the walls of the container, from inside then we will say that they are exerting more pressure initially you see there are no molecules here so no pressure so number of collisions with the walls is zero and pressure is which is shown here in atmospheric pressure is also zero now let me introduce some molecules here okay I have introduced uh, here 75 molecules you can see the reading here now as I have introduced 75 molecules the pressure has increased to 9.3 atm 9.3 atmospheric pressure and if i see the number of collisions with the walls let's use this tool it is saying that uh, there are 49 collisions in 10 picosecond period so this is the pressure due to these 49 collisions per 10 picosecond i am getting 9.3 atmospheric pressure because of these type of blue molecules okay blue particles if I further increase the number of molecules then what will happen they will exert more pressure per unit area on the walls of the container and I will see increase in pressure so this is one method another method to increase the force is by increasing the velocity of these molecules the kinetic energy of these molecules so that they will collide with the walls with more energy so i can increase the temperature by heating this container so first do the experiment by increasing the number of molecules here note down the atmospheric pressure it is uh, pressure is 9.3 atm and 49 collisions so from 9.3 the pressure will increase to it has increased to 19.2 atm because of 155 particles and uh, let's again count the number of uh, wall collisions it has uh, increased to 121 in 10 picoseconds so in this this period of time 121 collisions are taking place with the walls of the container so pressure has increased to 19.2 atmospheric pressure as I told you another way to increase the uh, velocity or the energy of these uh, molecules is by heating this system so observe that it will increase from 19.2 and collisions will increase from 121 collisions so let me heat up this system you see the pressure is going up 30 32 35 37 and up to 40 okay up to 50.1 atmospheric pressure because i have imparted energy high energy they are having and they are colliding with high force high velocity with the walls and they are exerting more pressure and if i count the number of collisions they must have increased because they are colliding more frequently with the walls 189 collisions in 10 picosecond duration okay in this this is sample period okay and uh, opposite will happen if I cool down the system or decrease the number of molecules so one way is by cooling down so let's cool down the system and see it will reduce from 50 atm okay cool down the system 40 okay 30 okay it has reached 28 atm okay and uh, number of collisions let's say from 189 to it has reached uh, only 131 collisions okay and the another way was to by reducing the number of uh, molecules I have reduced the number of molecules so atmospheric pressure has reduced to 17.1 and number of collisions have also decreased to 103 
so these were two methods by which we can control the pressure the third way to control the pressure would be by changing the volume if i decrease the volume then the pressure must increase so let's decrease the volume it is 17.1 atmospheric pressure and uh, if i decrease the volume let's say to this much so volume has decreased and pressure has increased because the area has decreased initially area was more since pressure was force upon area and they are getting less area since they are getting less space so they are colliding with the walls of the container more frequently if i increase the volume then they will get more volume and number of collisions with the walls of the container will reduce so f by a area has reduced per unit area they are colliding less frequently so you see pressure has reduced so we can change pressure by three methods by changing the temperature by changing the number of molecules or number of particles in the container or by changing the volume i hope you enjoyed the whole video and learned many new things if you want to watch more such videos without missing my any new update then please don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy if you liked the video then please hit the like button and share it with your friends thank you for watching this video see you soon in the next video till then bye bye and take care